Hello everyone, welcome to Talk Here with us last your favorite health program on television. Today's program is reaching you from Okmosi, Ebony State, Southeast Nigeria, and I'm in a dental clinic. We'll be talking about a topic that will be of interest to a lot of persons, and it's called in the medical terms halitosis. Halitosis simply means bad breath or mouth odor. So I'll be discussing with a dentist and who we'll explore the causes, the prevention and the management. So let's take you in where we'll have the conversation. See you soon. Welcome back to Talk Here with Dr. Laz, your favorite health program on television. Uh, as you can see, we are bringing this from a dental clinic. And with me is a restorative dentist. We'll be talking about mouth odor, as uh, is generally known. Uh, it's also called halitosis in professional circles or bad breath. So and uh, with me is uh, Mr. Raphael Okereke. Thank You're you. welcome to the program, Ralph. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here with you. And thanks for allowing us to, to have this conversation right inside your clinic. So talking about mouth odor, what would you want anybody watching this program to know about it? People will be particularly interested in the causes, given that it's such a, a, an embarrassing situation. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Lance, for this question. Bad breath, mouth odor, and halitosis, as we professionally call it, is a foul odor that comes from the mouth. Mm. That comes from the mouth and then it pollutes the air. It causes a whole lot of embarrassment to people. Imagine getting closer to somebody. We need to talk with, on opening the mouth, you couldn't breathe, mm. facing the person. It, 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 it feels so bad to see such, and it's one of the conditions that people cannot easily tell themselves or their friends, your mouth is smelling. Mm. So, and then it's generally known that 25% of people living in this life has foul breath. In the whole world in or the in, whole in world. Nigeria? In the whole world, mm. yes. That's a huge number, one, one out of four. Yes, one out of four. In every four, one must have bad breath. Mm. So what are, the, what are the causes? is particularly cause the major cause of halitosis is poor oral hygiene condition okay that's the major cause we have many other factors that could cause bad breath ranging from you know people brush my but they don't follow the actual mechanism of brushing so you can still see somebody they will tell you that they brushed as well yet the mouth smells and okay. you know the mouth is an incubator whatever thing you give into the mouth the mouth assumes that and possibly multiplies that Mm. Yes, people that take mostly proteinous stuffs in the morning, let's say something like egg, meat, mm. fish, they might retain such smell, you know. So after a while, you close your mouth on opening, you see your mouth smells. People brush when they're supposed not to brush. You are supposed to brush immediately after eating. The essence the, of brushing in the morning, right? In the morning, the essence of brushing is to remove those food particles. Not, not before eating. Not before okay. eating. If you want to brush before eating, that's good for you. But I should also brush after. Is, you should brush after eating. Okay. That helps to give you that fresh breath, that freshness of the mouth. Then that's what you should go out with. Okay. We, 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 we'll get to the uh, prevention right away. What are other causes you've talked about? poor oral uh, hygiene. We talked about food, the kind of food. I think garlic and onions could also... Garlic and onions yeah. can as well cause that. You know, it, it has its own smell. Mm. And when mouth retains that, some people, it irritates them to perceive such. Okay. Even, even though it's medicinal, it's good for your health. But you shouldn't retain it and carry it away. If you take fish, granite, alcohol, your mouth, then alcohol can. Okay. Alcohol can. It has its own smell mm. and it, it irritates. Right. Yes, alcohol. Then tobaccos. People that take tobaccos, it brings about foul smells in the mouth. Mm. Then we also have some drugs that can cause that. There are some drugs uh, we take that inhibit the production of saliva in the mouth. Okay. Uh, yes, they they can as well lead to that because it causes the dryness of the saliva in the mouth by so right. doing the mouth smells. Uh, Do you uh, know that example of those drugs? Uh, so, so, something like uh, nitrate. 
okay. uh, nitrate that is used in the treatment of vagina, so it could cause xerostemia, the dryness of the mouth and okay. the tongue, right. which leads to bad breath. Okay. Now you, I, I read the literature that said there are like up to nine or ten kind of drugs that could lead this. Yeah, there are. Some could have a byproduct of that sulfide, you of know, course. which gets into the bloodstream and could come out uh, through through the mouth. Yeah, that sulfide right. sulfur itself is the, uh, the the byproduct. Even the decomposition of the substrate, the food debris in the mouth, the mm. product that brings about this foul smell we have as mouth odor is sulfide. Okay. So uh, let's say after eating your mouth return in between the teeth, the, the what we call the interdental spaces, some food particles pack inside it could be meat. Some people that used to pick ordinary, they shouldn't. Mm. They puncture not only the gum, they, they force it in between the teeth, and when they decomposes, foul smells come. Mm. So then we also have um, something like, um, uh, what do you call it? Is this some diseases affecting the mouth or yeah, after operation? Diseases, could that be... diseases, what we call uh, the periodontitis, okay. the diseases of the gum. Then there could be accumulations when some of these those food uh, particles, particles right. that stick to the teeth it gets to calcified. We call it dentacaculus. Okay. Uh, once some people open their mouth, some of them it gives them discoloration of mm. the teeth. Yes, some of them can pack and it could cause that. The inflammations of the gum. Okay. They bleed. Yes, they bleed. Are there some cancers that could also? Yes, cancer. That? Cancer of the mouth, of the liver, all, many of them can cause it. There is also what we call the, the, the obstruction. The obstruction of the... The, 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 the uh, intestinal obstruction. Intestinal obstruction. That could lead to reflux, gastroesophageal yes. reflux disease. Yes, and when somebody vomits, mm. then uh, it, it can also result uh, when uh, the, the, there is infection in the lungs. Okay. Yes. At the time, some people might have some kind of sore throat. It could be an infection in the throat or in the nose tree hmm. be because of the interconnection between the nose and the, 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 the throat. So yes. it, it could also result to such kind of foul smells. And, and that's also common in children who could put a foreign body of to their nose, of course, which can cause some You know, you can breathe there in and, and exhale uh, through the mouth or yeah. breathe through the mouth and exhale through the nose. some objects in the nose that could irritate the place. Yes. I think that, that's been really a very good conversation, yes. knowing about uh, the causes. We've been talking about bad breath and mouth odor, and uh, he's been talking about the various causes. We'll be right back where we'll discuss the prevention as well as the management of this situation. Do stay with us. Health Agenda 2023. The Nigerian health system is becoming weaker with the mass exodus of medical doctors, nurses, and other skilled health workers out of the country. In February and March 2023, Nigerians will go to the polls to elect the next president and state governors, respectively. This provides an opportunity for the election of leaders who will help to strengthen the health sector and reposition it to deliver quality healthcare services at all levels. We present to you Health Agenda 2023, an interview segment on this program for presidential and governorship candidates to discuss their health agenda before the electorates. For sponsorship and participation, reach out through any of the contact details displayed on your screen. Welcome back to the program. We are talking about halitosis or mouth odor or bad, bad breath. So, um, Mr. Rafael Okereke, restorative dentist, uh, has been with me in his clinic. And so, let's now move to prevention. Like you noted, poor oral hygiene is the number one cause of mouth odor. So, yeah. how do we take care of our mouth? Yeah, basically, the best way to take care of your mouth is to maintain proper oral hygiene and good care. And the first and foremost in maintenance of proper oral hygiene is to imbibe constant brushing of your mouth. First thing in the morning after eating your food. After eating your meal in the morning you brush. Then the last thing before going to bed at night. Okay, so demonstrate now, the proper way of brushing. If brush. you want to brush, you know, people brush this way. Unfortunately, by so doing, they force off the food particles on the surface of the teeth and force it in between the interdental spaces. Mm. Now, 
If somebody can brush yet the person has foulness okay. now if you want to brush take your paste into the bristles of the brush roll it around then you brush this way from the upper maxilla then by the side you brush this way by this side you brush this way then in the inside of the mouth this okay this way this way don't forget to brush the occlusal surfaces of the teeth okay the point that comes in contact with the lower mm. then in the lower aspect you brush this way uh -huh. so you can as well clean both the surfaces and then interdental space because the brace toes will enter but if you do it this way you only force off on the surface you can see to the and then you yeah space. you feel the interdental spaces as well okay by the side this way this way this way this way this way the occlusal surfaces and then finally your tongues your okay. tongues have the capability of causing mouth for the mm, retains a lot of bacteria yes okay so um which other ways which other ways you not tobacco consumption <laughs> if you can avoid tobacco it causes bad breaks. everyone should actually avoid Excessive it it's not it's, not, it's not an essential alcohol <laughs> causes bad breath as well so right. you can regulate if you are the type that takes and make water your constant friend mm. drink water as much as you can rinse your mouth in between this time you brush in a day mm -hmm. uh, in, in, you might just go out you take a lunch you take some snacks mm -hmm. right, make water your constant friend there are some kind of food you should be eating and if you eat like after eating a meal try to take fruits okay. there are there are there are teeth cleansing fruit that help to give freshness to the mouth Example. Something, something like apple Apple, apple does that okay. you can take watermelon mm -hmm. yeah, yeah you can take cucumber most of these are teeth cleansing fruits wow so yeah you, you do that mind the kind of lifestyle does cause bad breath okay. like uh, if people who cannot control what they eat each time you are just taking and some people will tell you after eating they will use uh, something like soft drink mm. which are refined drinks and ex 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 and the sugar that has excess sugar be, be food for and the bacteria in the mouth why not mm. that makes the mouth to smell just in few minutes after eating all those things that you close your mouth wow you know then in, in, in such conditions this person just keep eating anything the person sees do you know that uh, starvation mm. fasting can cause bad breath so mm. pe yes if you eat it, it, it leads to dry mouth okay yes people should take something and after eating you use water to rinse your mouth okay. then people should also master you 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 should learn to master how to go about your day by checking yourself first before any other person does for you mm. so how does one check oneself I you can Break out air from your mouth. Okay. You can spit and feel the saliva. Mm. You, some people say on your wrist and let it dry or feel it or have a sputum on your palm, rub against, you feel it. Mm. Or breathe out air. Mm. Be the first to feel so you avoid embarrassing yourself outside. Okay. So um, we, we've talked about a number of preventive measures for mouth odor. Yeah. And of course, it's not just a single listing. But uh, there is this uh, practice that dentists usually recommend. Uh, is this cutting and polishing or something? Yeah. How often should someone see a dentist, you know, as general practice or preventive uh, practice for uh, different form of dental health conditions? Yeah, in general practice, is as expected of everybody provided you are alive you have mouth you have teeth and you eat mm. every six months every six months that's twice in a year mm. yes you go for your preventive therapy preventive treatment scaling and polishing of the mouth they will use ultrasound dental scalers to scale your mouth remove all those uh, calculus and plaque that are packed in between mm. they cause the foul smell that could also irritate the common cause inflammation and most times gingivitis or a decay of the teeth that is called dental caries that so, many people suffer most yeah for, for someone that obeys the good oral health hygiene that you talked about does the person still need to be going every once every six months once every six months because 
no matter how much you brush, you still have most of them retained. Mm. Yes, that's mm. you know that most of these people that have bad breath, holes on their teeth, uh, stains on the mouth. Okay. Also have. You mentioned holes on the teeth. My attention came to this. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Though this is a tooth loss. Right? This is a tooth loss. This is a denture. This is a complete denture for the people okay. that lost the whole teeth in their mouth. So it can also cause bad breath if you mm. have a denture in your mouth and you don't clean it. Mm. So it's expected that anybody that has a denture like this, you remove the denture. Try even if it's once in a day or at worst three times in a week. You bring it out. You clean. You brush. Okay. Use a soft brush to brush. So. It, because it has formed part of the mouth, okay. so you can have a good breath. So, so let's take another breather. When we return, we'll speak uh, very quickly about some other management All right. uh, procedures. Thank Do you. stay with us. Health Agenda 2023. The Nigerian health system is becoming weaker with the mass exodus of medical doctors, nurses, and other skilled health workers out of the country. In February and March 2023, Nigerians will go to the polls to elect the next president and state governors, respectively. This provides an opportunity for the election of leaders who will help to strengthen the health sector and reposition it to deliver quality healthcare services at all levels. We present to you Health. Agenda 2023, an interview segment on this program for presidential and governorship candidates to discuss their health agenda before the electorates. For sponsorship and participation, reach out through any of the contact details displayed on your screen. Yes, welcome back to the program. Uh, we're still talking about bad breath or mouth odor, also known as halitosis. So, uh, Mr. Kerike, we've talked about the causes, the prevention, and a bit about the management. Uh, I have this in my hands, and I know you. Uh, the dentist usually said that this is preferable to use of uh, toothpick. Yeah. So, why is it preferable, and how affordable is it, you know, as a, 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 a good form of dental care? Yeah, thank you very much, Dr. This is what they call dental floss. Okay. Uh, that's what people should use to remove any particle that enters in between the interdental spaces, the space between one teeth and another. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, it, toothpick is not advisable. You use to, to pick something to the teeth. But if you want to remove anything in the teeth, you use this. Okay. It's, it, it's, it's as simple as getting it 50 naira per one. And then in a pack, you can have some 500 naira, 1,000, depending on the product. And so, it's so, not something so, so you how, use and throw how, away. Okay, yeah, I was you, going you, to that. Yeah, it's not something you use and throw away. You use your wash just like your toothbrush. You preserve it. You okay. preserve your toothbrush. So you, some reptiles don't lick it. Mm. Like ants, snakes, uh, lizards, and many other can lick. So, but your toothbrush and this should but, but be do, do you move about with it? You know, people attend events. They go for... How well do you preserve it for, for mobility? Now you, you, you can use a drug nylon to put it or a small but a slice something you can know is safe for you. A clean okay. paper you can also wrap it, you know, put in a place you think is safe for you. So okay. it should be taken to any place you are going. Have it, except you know you are not going to eat. Right. Uh, yeah, you are going. Even people that have visitors should present this instead of toothpick, okay. and it should be advised that people, restaurants, and the middle of these places that people eat, they present this to people instead of toothpick. Mm. It's advisable to use because the toothpick punctures the gum, it creates incavitation for the inhabitation of microorganisms that mm. also leads to these foul smells, uh, inflammation of the gum after the the, the certain injuries as a result of the puncture and the okay. rest of it. Yes. So, so what you're saying is because because of the puncture, because I know some people when they use toothpick, they get to bleed. Yeah, of so course. if it injures the gums, those bacteria, it, millions of them. Now it creates a place for oh. habit for them to come and stay, take time to decay some mm. food particles coming in. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's good. And basically for people that now have this bad breath, there are ways that can they can help themselves. Right. Now you make water your friend, just like we discussed in the prevention. Mm. Uh, rinse your mouth constantly. And then 
if you check yourself and you know you brush very well you rinse your mouth you do most of these things we explain in the prevention and you still have it the best option now is to visit your dentist Okay. Now they can run that preventive treatment for you, scaling and polishing of the mouth. If there is any need to make a prescription, they will do that. And if there's an underlying disease, they treat it. Right? Yes, now because okay. most uh, periodontal diseases can cause it. So in that one, they, they cannot just manage it yourself. It's not something you can just manage at home. Mm. When you apply those preventive steps and you still have it, visit your dentist. Okay. And then for those people that have it, you make your visitation three to. Uh, four months period of a time okay. depending on what your dentist will recommend for you so right. it could be managed it can be treated okay that's that's good news it can be treated it can be treated it can be treated all right thank you uh rafael okereke restorative dentist <laughs> thank you very much i'm happy to be here thank you all right thank you for watching talking here with dr Laz on ait so Take care of your mouth, be proud of your breath, and if you have mouth odor, you already know what to do. The program will still be on our YouTube channel and you can keep watching as many times as you want and sharing with your loved ones who are unable to watch it live on TV. My name is Dr. Lars Eze. See you same station, same time next week. Bye for now. <laughs>